Hey guys, I'm Tyson with Adventure Rig. And I'm Callie. And we are out here testing our completely snazzy, one-piece, Heli Hansen Uller Powder Suits. This thing is a dream come true. I think this is one of the items that I've kind of always wanted and I've never taken the leap to get one. And now I'm kind of wondering why I never had one all these years. I'm completely in love with this to the point that I've thought about maybe sewing my shirts into my pants because there's nothing better than a one-piece suit. It's gonna be really hard to go back to wearing pants and a jacket after wearing this. We've been wearing these for a while now and we just don't wanna take them off. Every day, it's suit day. So we'll start with the sizes on these. You can see Cali is wearing a medium. They don't make any different sizes for a women or a men's, they are unisex. Cali's in a medium and she is 5'10", 150 pounds, it's all muscle. I am six feet tall and I am wearing a large. I have a 32 inch inseam. If I hold my hands out, I've got great length on the arms. I think with my suit, the only thing that kind of gets a little bit annoying with the fit is when I lift my arms up because the jacket portion is sewn into the pants portion, it wants to pull the pants up with the jacket when you lift your arms. And what that does, it actually kind of rides up into my crotch a little bit. It's not the end of the world. I really notice it when I'm hiking and I throw my skis up over my shoulder, I put my arm up, that's kind of when I notice it. Or if I'm ragdolling down the mountain, I also can feel it there. One thing with my sizing, is I went with the medium. I think that if I went with the small, I'd kind of be encountering that same issue that Tyson's having. It looks a little thuggish ruggish on me, but I kind of like it having a little bit baggier, looser of a fit. She's been called a dude only a handful of times, so that's pretty good. And really these days, a lot of dudes look like chicks out there, so it's kind of going both ways. The last thing I would say about my particular sizing is if you are taller than six feet, I think I would probably jump up to the extra large. You may have a little bit of more room in this area, but for the length, I think having the extra large over six feet tall is gonna be key, or if you have a long torso. Now, the greatest feature about these suits is keeping mother nature out and keeping all the warmth inside. So this is gonna be made out of the Helitech Professional three-ply fabric. It's waterproof, it's windproof, and it's breathable. The one thing that I think that Callie and I have noticed that it's maybe not, it's not really warm. So this probably really plays with Callie because she's definitely on the colder realm of the scale where I tend to generate a lot of body heat and stay a little bit warmer. But these are really just shells. So you can see if I unzip mine on the inside, it's just a shell layer. There's not any kind of insulation throughout any of this. It's not so bad not having any insulation though because you can insulate however you'd like. If you wanna wear thicker base layers or extra things underneath, then that's definitely doable. It makes it really versatile at that point. But one thing to mention with that, if I was just wearing, I don't often wear shells, I usually wear insulated layers. If I was just wearing shell pants and sh a shell jacket, I feel like I'd be way colder than with this suit on. So I definitely think there's something to say about having the one piece and keeping that warmth in. Moving on to some of the features that the Uller powder suit has. You can see on the exterior on Cali, we have a chest pocket and this also doubles as the media pocket. So you can stick your phone or media device in there and feed the headphones through the inside of the jacket into your ears. Another great feature about this pocket is that it actually has a little bit of insulation on the exterior. It's Primaloft's Aerogel insulation. You can feel it on the outside. What it's supposed to do, if you've ever noticed your electrical devices dying a little bit quicker because it's cold outside, that just helps to keep it a little bit warmer. Moving down the suit, you have two pockets that are located higher. And the reason that they've put these a little bit higher is if you're wearing a backpack and you have the backpack straps here and then you have a waist strap, those pockets are not gonna interfere with that. Also, these pockets on the inside have mesh and those double as vents. So if it's hot outside, you can open those up and get really nice venting through your core. Right here, you have a great beacon pocket. It does have a strap on the inside, so it's actually made 
specifically for a beacon. You can strap your beacon right to this loop so that it's physically on you. It definitely takes some getting used to just having something big and bulky right there on your thigh. I personally don't like the pocket where it's located. I telemark, and so when I bend my leg, it gets a little bit tight around my legs, and I can really feel the beacon sitting in that pocket. Below the beacon pocket, you do have a pocket right here, as well as a pocket on that leg. Those pockets have a little bit of a bellow to them, so they're not nearly as tight. Oh, someone's got a snack. She always has snacks. I wouldn't be surprised if she had more snacks on her. So they have a little bit more room if you're gonna be putting bulkier items in them. The last pocket is the pass pocket right here on your arm. This isn't really something that Callie and I would have maybe talked about much in the past. However, Copper Mountain this year has finally got those gates where Beep! You just go through them, it scans your pass automatically. So, having this pass pocket, it's awesome. The ventilation, they do incorporate, like we said, on the top, these pockets act as the ventilation. It's not my favorite system out there because I like to sometimes put things in these pockets. And if you open these up to vent, there's a good chance that you're gonna lose what's in those pockets. So it's kind of a double-edged sword. They don't include any vents underneath the armpits. For me personally, I wish that there was just a vent under the armpit and then separate pockets in the center. But it is what it is. It's not the end of the world. You also have nice ventilation on the inside of your thighs. Now you can see when Callie opens these up, one thing to note here, it's huge. It's completely open. It's great if you're out there skinning in the back country, open those bad boys up, let the air come on in. However, don't ski with them open because if you find yourself in the white room, that's going into the pants. I mean, there's no mesh to keep it out. It's gonna go in. If you're skinning in your hot, great ventilation to have. On the bottom, you can see that they do have really nice reinforced legs. So if you're a skier and you're always hitting your edges on your pants, ton of reinforcement down there. And that stuff is really thick. I've usually cut my pants at this point in the game. I don't have any cuts yet. I'm really happy with what they're doing there. On the outside of the pant, they don't have any kind of extra zippers or snaps to open it up. However, these things are plenty big, I think, yeah. from what I've found. Yeah. And then they do just have a gator that does go around your ski boot to again, help seal out mother nature. And if we go to the top of the suit, you can see that this burly zipper here, if you're a kayaker and you know what I'm talking about, this zipper is like one step below a dry suit zipper. It's burly for sure. It's nice how it does have a little bit of an angle to it, making the suit a little bit easier to get on and off of your shoulders. Now, Callie, with having the larger size, she doesn't have any issue slipping it off. With me, I kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit and really grab my cuffs and try to kind of tweak my upper body, I guess, to try to get it off because it does get stuck a little bit. But they've helped to try to combat that and angle the zipper for you. Now, when she zips it all the way up, you can see how nice and large the neck is. So if it's puking outside, you can stuff your head in there, become a little bit of a turtle, and really seal yourself off. Also, another great feature is having this expandable collar. You can see that you can zip it up, and that's actually gonna tighten it around your face a little bit more. If you unzip it, it just gives you a little extra room. Also, when it's unzipped on the inside, it does have some cutouts, so if you're breathing and your mouth is against it, it will help expel that air and try to prevent some of it from going up and fogging up your goggles. The hood is also helmet compatible. It's plenty big if you are wearing a helmet and you put it on. At that point, you zip the collar up. You're like a vault to mother nature. It is not coming in. You're staying dry, you're staying warm. I don't know what is better than that. Also on the back, you have this little strap that will tighten the hood up around your helmet or around your nugget if you're not wearing a helmet. So if Callie unzips hers again, you can see on the inside, we do have a nice mesh pocket. If you're needing to put your skins, goggles, water bottle, it's plenty big to stuff any of that inside. Also on the back, you do have four different panels that actually have primal loft insulation in them, helping with airflow and regulating your body temperature. As Callie zips up, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. As Callie zips up, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Are you a rapper now? Yeah. 
I think Callie and I both have a couple of really awesome things that we like about these suits, but we'll just pick one. What is your favorite thing about the Uller powder suit? I think my favorite <laughs> thing is just that the elements do not get onto my skin. My base layers stay warm and dry all day and that helps me stay warm. And mine is this high visibility brim that's on the hood. It's a safety feature. I always was lost in the woods on powder days. Callie could never find me, but thankfully I have this nice bright orange piece on my hood. She can see my hood from miles away now. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions on the Heli Hansen Uller powder suit, please leave them below and Callie and I will definitely get back to you. If you're wondering where we're at or what we're up to, check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Adventure Rig. If you go on there right now, you're gonna find some photos of us wearing these awesome snazzy suits. Thanks again for watching guys, I'm Tyson. And I'm Callie with Adventure Rig.